Hi, I'm Jonathan Pierce with Pierce Performance, and this week's performance tip is going to be about travel. Uh, this week I'm getting on a plane for the first time this year for a work trip, and it'll kick off a, a busy summer of travel for me. So it was on my mind that um, many of us experience like the hardships of travel and trying to still perform well, still be able to train, work out, uh, feel good. And when you do travel a lot, this is hard, right? And especially if you want to keep training and, and doing your workouts or um, if you're preparing for something and you still have work travel, uh, it's nice It's nice to be able to work out and feel good. Um, so I think I have two key things that I, I do well, I think, when I travel that really help us. One is to uh, keep moving and avoid um, excessive sitting time. It's really, really hard when we do travel because you're in cars and planes and airport uh, waiting situations. So um, I, I have a couple tips for that. One is just to move around when you're in the airport. And so I'll try to walk a lot when I'm in the airport. I'll do phone calls and um, do things, you know, catch up with people or do work calls. And I'll walk and walk and walk and, and try to get some time on my feet that way. That keeps you moving. Um, you can also make sure that when you do get up often uh, while you're in the, on, the, on the plane and you know, take a break every hour at least uh, at minimum and get up and I go in the back and I do some squats and get, do things to get my legs moving and the blood flow and then um, some simple stretches for the anterior chain like, the, um, like your, your quad and your hip flexor and adductor. I find that if I do that pretty often I work better while I'm on the plane. I'm more focused and I, and I feel good getting off the plane and I can actually go work out. Um, also, it's it's nice to be the last one on the plane, so I often will delay boarding until the very end. I'll kind of wander around the airport and, and stand by the gate and do emails until it's um, I'm near the end of the boarding process. And I find when you get on last, you just, you're just you sitting less. So that's a nice tip. Um, and finally, if you do sit down in the airport, I will often sit in a corner on the floor and, and stretch and do um, do you know work or phone calls that way. And I find that it's much easier to... Um, to feel mobile when you're not just sitting in chairs all day. So the other thing that I think is really important for performance when you're traveling is nutrition and controlling nutrition. Very, very challenging to do. Um, but the way that I do it is I, I pack things with me. So in my travel, every time I go anywhere, I've got tin cans of sardines, um, and they're usually less than the three ounces, so you can travel with them and carry them on. And then I also bring um, greens powder and MCT oil powder, and so I can always kind of get a hit of greens in my system or get some lipids when I'm, when I'm hungry or I need a boost. Uh, I'll always carry on, the, at least the first part of the trip when I leave home, I'll bring veggies cut up in a bag and nuts, and I know I can always get some something good and nutritious uh, that will also satiate me and feel good. Um, hydration is really, really important in conjunction with that. And so typically what I do is I buy a bottle, a liter of water every time I'm laying over. Before I get on the plane, I carry a liter with me and drink that. Plus, I'll drink everything that they offer in the beverage service. So I think it's um, people just rely on the beverage service to give them enough water and, and you never get enough. So you need to really plan ahead. Um, and then the other thing that I often do is if I'm going to travel somewhere for a long enough time, I'll ship groceries to that hotel where I'm going to stay. And I find that if I, I can use like Thrive Market online or, or you can you know ship from, for example, Amazon or Bullet, Bulletproof Nutrition. And I'll often ship things like Bulletproof Coffee and some, you know, some tuna and other, other products like that that you know that you can um, consume easily in a in, anywhere, especially in a, in a hotel. So I think shipping and planning ahead really makes you stay on your nutrition and stay on your, on your plan so you can perform better. And I just always feel that I, I feel better in activities and in work when I'm, when I'm doing that well. The, uh, the last thing that we'll, we'll make sure to discuss in a future video is more tips for jet lag. And if you're going long distances and across a lot of time zones, there's a lot of strategies that I use for jet lag. And I have a whole protocol that I use with my elite athletes. Uh, but one thing that I like the best that I'll touch on is earthing. And so once you arrive at your destination, get in the grass or dirt with your bare feet and get some sunlight. And once you have that connection to the ground and you have some sun exposure and fresh air, um, I've, I've found huge changes in how people can um, adapt to the new time zone and get over the jet lag much quicker. So those are some very simple uh, but I think very effective tips for performing on the road while you're traveling. So um, good luck and stay, stay healthy and keep performing. See you next time.